Resource recovery encompasses both zero waste and surplus property. We are using both operations-based and behavior-based approaches in order to find solutions to achieving zero waste on campus. And zero waste is diverting 90% of materials from landfills. So instead of sitting there and um, being wasted, we want to look at it as a resource. So hence resource recovery. Our behavior-based teams are uh, waste audit, uh, outreach, zero waste workplace, and graphic design and communication. I'm a part of the waste audit team. We measure how well UC is recycling, composting, and disposing of their trash at certain buildings on campus. We identify what could be better composted and recycled. Our data is then shared with zero waste workplace. Yeah, well, we get the data from the waste audit team. In order to help progress towards the goal, we are focusing on buildings on campus and different workplaces. So we're trying to make it more convenient and easy for people who work here. So we're gonna have two separate presentations, kind of like a pre one, like post one, um, basically giving them a rundown of what our, the structure of Zero Waste Workplace, what we do, what they should do, what they should do in the future, uh, what to expect from us. While Zero Waste Workplace works with faculty and staff. The outreach and graphic design communication team focuses on students. We are getting the zero waste goal message out and trying to get students on board to let them know ways they can make a difference. We are trying to make the information out there fun and easy to read and follow. Our surplus manages all of the state-owned property coming off the University of Texas at Austin, so that's for the main campus, Pickle, and then our remote campuses as well. Uh, we manage the process of either reusing, recycling, or selling those items. Surplus uses three groups of interns out at the surplus properties, and that are the e-waste group, the online group, and the surplus store group. I work with the e-waste team. Um, our job is to test the electronics and see if they're functional or not. If they are, then on Mondays, just the ISDs can come in and take their pick of whatever they want to take. And whatever they don't take goes to our online auction team or our store team to get sold on further. I'm a member of the online auction team here at Resource Recovery, and our main mission is to repurpose surplus property. Uh, what we do is lot items into groups, uh, take pictures, set vivid descriptions, and put them online on Swico auctions. We also put ads on Craigslist to, to put our name out there and make our items more appealing. So I'm a team member of the Surplus Reuse store, and what we do is we get all the surplus materials from UT. We store it, manage it, categorize it, and set up the store so that it's aesthetically pleasing. And our goal is to resell all these materials um, for communities around.